Imagine you had a motorboat and you had two large block Evin Root engines and you decided to put sugar in the gas. You suppose they'd ever run the same again? That's what it's like to put drugs in your brain. Now imagine you had a little putt-putt engine. You think that makes it better? I mean, really, that doesn't improve matters if you add sugar to the gas. You, you really got no performance. The drug dealer sees you coming, and when you're an addict, he says, I think I see a walking wallet. I believe I will make a withdrawal at the ATM of you. If you were building a bridge, and you had 35 employees, and uh, you discovered that five of them were taking drugs, where would you place those five individuals? Would you put them on the detail work? Would you put them at a cash register? Would you put them at a position of responsibility and management where uh, if things went wrong they were responsible? That's what drugs does to all of the United States of America. That's what drug do drugs do to every company that operates here. Imagine you were on a football team. And imagine a player at a minor position had a bad cocaine habit besides the steroids that, that were every, pretty, pretty much mandatory. Uh, what do you think would happen when the other team found out about this and blackmailed him and said, if you don't give us your playbook, we're going to out you and tell everybody that you take cocaine and make sure you don't get to work anymore. How long do you think that team would be a winning team? When you're addicted, it's already too late. A pusher is very manipulative. He looks at 17 and 18 year old women like bodies to be used for his disposal. He wants to addict them and then he wants to use them as a currency for political favors and trade on their uh, interest and their money making capabilities. Uh, he leads them along. He, he promises them things like, you'll be in the movies, you'll, you'll make it, you'll be ahead, you'll get ahead. And they, they, their currency, their lie is H-O-P-E, hope. They uh, never intend to deliver. And when these young ladies are strung out and bitter six years later, they cast them away and start over again with new ones. Drug dealers are awful. Drug dealers regard America as a whore to be kept addicted. They use drugs as a tool to keep America weak. And getting money back from us is just a bonus. I hate drugs.